You might know them as crayfish, crawfish, or crawdads. But whatever you call them, these little lobsters have become a sort of national dish in China. Chinese people consume 90% of all the world's crayfish every year. They're so big here that in July, more than 10,000 people got together in Hunan Province to eat one ton of crayfish arranged in the shape of a crayfish. That's why even at American fast food chains like Taco Bell, KFC, and Pizza Hut, you'll find crayfish burritos, crayfish tacos, crayfish pizza, and even crayfish Lay's potato chips. 一般大家都是两斤起点嘛，有的女生一两斤都不够的，<笑>一个人基本上能吃到四五斤，因为那一次也是有四五个女生一块来吃的，吃了一个接近二十斤。特别在夏天的时候，就是呃三五个好友一起吃的话，特别有感觉。But China wasn't always into crayfish. Sydney Chung, an anthropology professor at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, spent four years studying crayfish culture in China. 九十年代初期咧，食小龙虾嘅数目咧，其实都系大概六千七百吨。但系咧，去到二零一六年，就去到八十七万吨。How did crayfish become so popular? The type of freshwater crayfish that China eats today actually came from Louisiana and the surrounding region. They were then brought over to Japan, where they were raised as pets. The Japanese then brought the crayfish to China during World War II. 原來咧，去到七八十年代，大家都唔係太中意呢個小龍蝦，因為覺得誒佢係日本人帶嚟嘅。有少少一個即係標籤咗佢嘅作物誒原因。另外咧就係話唔識點食喎，呢啲唔係我哋傳統嘅食材嚟噶嘛。But Chinese people eventually warmed up to it, especially farmers who saw it as an inexpensive ingredient. When many of them moved into cities, they brought their crayfish dishes with them. There are dozens of ways to cook crayfish in China. Some prefer braising it, others add garlic, salted egg yolk, and pepper. In some parts of China, you can even order raw crayfish sashimi. But the most classic flavor is a mix of spices and herbs called Thirteen Spices. First, the crayfish is fried until it's half cooked. Then, the Thirteen Spice mix is thrown in. This is Shisai Jiang. Shisai Jiang liao fen. Mil, ba jiao, hui pi, xiang ye, bai zi a, bai kou a. 等等等等，把磨成粉，混合而成。那十三香的特点就是，呃，鲜香麻辣，突出，然后回味回甜，甜味主要是给白糖啊。Then the crayfish is added, and finally beer is added to get rid of any lingering fishy taste. If you're eating crayfish for the first time, expect things to get messy. Seasoned eaters pride themselves on deshelling the crayfish quickly and neatly. This is Marina. She's from Germany and has been living in Shanghai for two years. But this is her first time trying crayfish. This place is a little bit of a dry place. Actually, usually, we are more eating when we eat more. We like to eat this place. It's very sweet. And this is this beef rib. Here's Marina and our chef Zhang Lin racing to see who can deshell the most crayfish in two minutes. Well, I think it's a little bit unfair. I'm sure he's been doing it for many years. <laughs> Twist up the head, squeeze the shell, peel it off segment by segment. Oops. Mm. It looks much easier when the chef does it. No! <laughs> Almost done, this one counts. But it's a lot of work for sure. <laughs> um, but, but it's worth it, it's, it's really good. 
But when you see like the big bowl that you have in front of you and then and all of this, this is just the trash and you get to eat like five little, five little crayfish. But it's really good. Hey, Tanley here. Okay. I edited the crayfish video. I've never had crayfish before, but um, I guess I should really give it a shot and try it out. Not the sashimi, but uh, the 13 spices maybe, you know. I like spicy food, so. But anyway, I'm not new to like, you know, seafood. Me and Clarissa went to Hanzo for caviar. It was kind of nice, straight out of the stomach. That's seafood. I had that. Ta -da. Like this video up here. Sub subscribe to Goat Thread. Two. Uh, two.